Alright guys, Carl from Studio In Car. Let's have a look around Simon's GR Yaris. It's just been started. There's a, there's a few hours on it at the moment, but we're catching it at the beginning for once. Let's have a little look around. So yeah, all black. It's just been PPF. It's a bit mucky at the moment. It was raining when it turned up. So what Jamie's been working on the doors. So we've got some sound editing going on in the doors. We've got the Dyn Audio driver, mid-bass driver in the front there on custom baffles. We'll have a Dyn Audio drivers in the uh, A pillars as well. We're just going to figure out whether we want to, uh, if you come over here, whether we want to blend this, this pillar section into the tweeter housing and then we'll paint it so it's the same colour or whether we want to conceal the driver uh, completely because there's a fair bit of space behind there. We'd have to remove that, uh, the standout section there. But yeah, we'll go for that. And then in the back, I'm pretty sure the back's empty. You have a high floor to the four wheel drive. So the here is the battery. And that's an installer's dream now, look at all that space. So we'll probably remove this section and add a subwoofer enclosure. We may try and add a passive but prefabricated subwoofer enclosure so we don't make something custom and we can easily make something custom for in there, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if we can add in a prefabricated enclosure, something along the lines of the Audison uh, AP8 prefab box, ported enclosure so its output's quite nice, especially in a platform as sort of small as this, it should be great, so yeah. But we'll get to that. I mean, the, the cables are, uh, are sort of half in at the moment. So you'll see, I'll show you in the passenger side in a minute, the speaker cables and everything are in. Uh, they're already done to the doors. Uh, this, door's, this door's finished. So I wanted Jamie to keep, the, to keep the door card off the other side so I could show you what was going on. But that one's finished, mid-base driver just through there. The signal cables are in, the speaker cables are all in. You can see there the... Um, connection SL216. We're ready for integration now and then it will just be uh, it will just be working the boot so yeah keep your eyes peeled on this they're an extremely popular car and um, we've already got another one booked in so um, we're yeah we're looking to develop something that isn't too bespoke. This one's for a, a special client of ours Simon Greg he's been through a you know he's got a number of our systems so he likes what we do so we'll go a little bit further with this one's bespoke to him. Whereas if we can develop something a, a, of a package that we can put together, I'm sure anyone coming through, we can answer those questions and, and let you know a, a, a tiered structure. So yeah, let us work it out and we'll, uh, we'll put something together. But yeah, what a cool little, cool little project. We'll get round to it show you the rest of it so we'll show you under the floor show you what we do in there and uh, yeah we'll carry on sort of recording throughout so it'd be quite cool all right
lunchtime. And the Yaris is done. We've uh, an active system up front, two-way Dyn Audio. Uh, Audison SR5, the new one. Audison Bit Nove, DSP, and an AP8 loaded box. Let's have a quick look around. Let it make a bit more noise. It's not make. It's not stop making noise for a few hours because uh, I'm gonna wear it in a little bit. Road test it, and off we go. What a great little car, and a great little project. Not much to see up front. Got a Dyn Audio five-inch mid base up front there. Dyn Audio MD102 in a custom mount there, using the original shape of the tweeter mount. Uh, modifying it to fit the MD102 so yeah decent location for the tweeter up there all running from the factory Toyota gubbins and a little bit of special sauce in the boot so this is we've we've taken the, the sub box up so you can see what's going on underneath um, we've got our DSP and our SR5 mounted here and then we've got the AP8R or APBX8R, which is a loaded eight inch um, subwoofer enclosure. That sits perfectly in that hole there, which supports the floor like this. Boom, there we go. You wouldn't even know it was there. These floors from stock just sit atop that sort of panel and we've replaced it with this sub box and it all just sits in there like so. So yeah, not intrusive in the car, nothing crazy going on, just a bunch of skill, a bunch of nice products, relatively straightforward installation. We've been lining on this one because we've not done one before. There are a few things that need looking out for when you're doing audio in this. A few sneaky, sneaky Toyota-y things, but we've got it and it's done. Um, and it sounds rad. Let me just press play. Everything's down below guys, description, products, ways to get hold of ours, likes and subscribes, it's all good stuff. This one's done. <laughs>